Big changes are in store for the Mobile Police Department. New Police Chief James Barber announcing today he's doing away with redundancies in the department. Local 15's Derek Rose got a better idea of what those changes will mean for his department. He joins us live from outside police headquarters tonight. Derek, some positions will be eliminated. They will, Kim. You know, here is the outlook. It's 32 pages full of changes and getting rid of some of those top heavy positions as the chief calls them would give some the impression that the opportunity for advancement and promotion is out of the question. Not so says the chief and his officers are with him. Chief James Barber puts it plainly. No, the plan calls for no plans of devoting anybody or laying off anyone. Instead, officers will be reassigned and open positions eliminated to save millions. Those funds will go toward what officers need in equipment and morale. We're always concerned about morale, but mostly policemen always want change, but they're always uh, afraid of change. 35 years on the job allows Captain Jack Dove to make that statement, but saw nothing but acceptance from his officers. One plus performance-based pay, measuring officers on the outcome of prevention efforts compared to the output in the number of arrests and citations. He was reminded of Officer Stephen Green, who when he died in the line of duty, made just fourteen ninety five an hour. You know, that's, that's how dedicated these kids are. They come to work at pauper's wages and do a great job in often damned if you do, damned if you don't circumstances. Outcome versus output also a factor in how the department will track and prevent crime. The old Comstat system will be phased out, making way for COBRA, which holds officers accountable as much as their supervisors. It also allows for interagency cooperation, getting help from the FBI, ATF, DEA, and U.S. Marshals to tackle the 10% of criminals who the chief tells us commit 80% of city crimes. When you want to be effective to be in the safest city, then the outcome needs to be the, the lack of crime in certain areas or the lack of crime in beats and within precincts and then within the entire city. The chief hoping his plan will attract and retain officers and move the department closer to his goal of making this the safest city in America. Live at police headquarters tonight, I'm Derek Rose, Local 15 News.